Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I have a pretty cool build for you all. I've wanted to make a build that can challenge the enemy to provide my team with a constant flow of toughness. Not only for my own abilities, but from just being actively aware and aggressive in combat. I also wanted to take this opportunity to try out some of the new weapons and create something worth using in everyone's arsenal. But to get to all that, we should probably talk about the loadout first. So since I mentioned I was going to be trying out some of the new weapons, last week on my alternate veteran, I managed to snag a brand new Mark III Sapper Shuffle which just so happens to be one of the new foldable shovels. Now if you saw where my last video went with a similar shovel with my Ogren, I was super excited to try to get to perform just as well as that one. Now while it does hit quite hard attacking single target enemies, I found that it really excels in combat during horde encounters a bit better. Because I wanted to be viable in any scenario, I leaned into it having increased melee damage to specialists and maximum damage to carapist armored enemies. For my blessings, I chose to have thrust for the power behind any of my heavy melee attacks, and this will also proc whenever I use my special action heavy. Getting this to stack is also incredibly easy and fast thanks to the speed of the shovel. Since my shovel originally had two bad blessings rolled on it, I actually decided decimated would be a solid choice since it's great for crowd controlling. Getting stacks only requires two light attacks, and the speed at which you can attack will build up stacks in no time. Not to mention, this chain can also amplify thrust's power too. I was able to kill passing mutants in one hit sometimes after building up a good rhythm. For those looking to get your god roll, you would want defense and mobility to have a lower stat than the other three, mostly for effectiveness and damage. This shovel can be a powerhouse when thinning the herd, and it goes great with most of my passives to assist the team's survival. Next up we have the Mark 10 Heavy Last Pistol. Now, I really didn't get to enjoy the last pistol too much when I started playing in the beginning. It was an early unlock and honestly it became more of a forgettable weapon whenever it was rivaled against the bolt gun, the revolver, or the plasma gun. But something about being quick on your feet and being able to blast enemies with tons of ammo at your disposal actually clicked way more this time around. The last pistol has a slower rate of fire, but it picks up in damage where it can't in speed. Since I wanted to be versatile in other ways of making this build more viable in any scenario, I went with damage to unyielding enemies and increased ranged critical strike chance. One blessing that I love to use on all of my last pistols is Infernus. You can visibly see whenever you get a crit hit because of the amount of burn stacks that can be applied to the target. And since burns can kill, and they usually do, I wanted a surefire way, no pun intended, to regain toughness at a fast and calculated rate. So I went with reassuringly accurate as my other blessing for the toughness regen on crit hit kills. Again though, make sure that your dump stat is within mobility for maximizing damage and control. For my curios, I wanted two toughness curios and a single max health curios. Since I wanted to be able to be mobile and effectively keep my team alive, I opted in for toughness boost and toughness regen speed across the board. The other choices that I went with were purely for my team, that being two boosts to revive speed along with a little bit of combat ability regen. Here's the talent tree that I went with. As you can see down low, we're going to be using our weapon specialist keystone to supply our crits and guarantee heavy damage along with spreading our toughness to our teammates. To go over how we're going to be doing that effectively, let's go over our abilities first. I'm going to be using voice command as our main ability. It can stagger enemies momentarily giving our team enough time to breathe and it also replenishes everyone's toughness immediately. To amplify our damage, I went with Close Quarter Kill Zone as my main modifier, as it provides us with enough damage whenever we're fighting targets within melee range. To make sure that no one takes a beating in any of those moments, I went with Duty and Honor as my other modifier. This way, between building up to my next use of Voice of Command, my team can have regenerative toughness and 50 additional stacked onto their own toughness. Since I mainly find myself finding Horde enemies with this build, I opted in for the Shredder Nades as my Blitz. This will help stagger and apply bleed stacks to enemies, and this is extremely useful to buy time for a revive or even plan an escape route. For my aura, since I find myself being more useful as the team ammo supplier, I went with survivalist so we don't need to worry too much about ammo consumption. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be using the weapon specialist as my keystone ability. This is great for keeping our attack speed up for both our melee and ranged weapons. Not only that, but we gain a faster fire rate as well as more crit hit chance whenever we actually swap weapons with stacks. This makes a huge difference whenever we're fighting elites up close or from range. Always prepared is really nice for keeping my last pistol almost always full. While I swap and gain stacks, I'm always replenishing my ammo, and with survivalists, we're constantly regenerating ammo upon killing any specials the game can throw at us. On top of that, I chose On Your Toes for the replenishment of toughness that we get each time we actively swap between forms. This will get shared because of the passives that I've chosen. In fact, let's talk about how useful you can be to your team with the other passives. With Born Leader, anytime we replenish our toughness, it will now spread to any of our teammates within coherency. This is an insane passive that has so much versatility. It can be spread in a number of ways too with how our build reacts as well. Close Order Drill is meant to keep everyone alive and well, even when getting beaten down by a Rager. 
with more damage reduction based off of the amount of allies and coherency, so stay close to everyone. I chose Confirm Kill for the toughness replenishment I receive for killing any specialist or elite enemy. But again, as you might have guessed, this is also chosen to feed into the toughness regen for my team as well. This is an amazing passive in Auric Damnation missions, as most of your enemies will either be elites or specialists. Demolition Stockpile is another easy choice for me. Since I like to play Medic a majority of the time, this keeps it easy for me to break up fights between crowded elites or giving me an opportunity to rescue an ally with an extra nade. I got Desperado for the melee crit chance and the melee finesse bonus for more damage with our shovel. This will help us clear hordes a little bit quicker and more efficiently. Fully Loaded was on the way down to another passive I wanted, but you can never go wrong with more ammo. You should never really be below 75% of your ammo since you'll gain a ton back with survivalists and other passives. I personally hate being stunlocked and slowed down by enemy gunfire, so get back in the fight will allow me to move freely if my toughness is ever broken. This is an emergency passive. You may never actually see it apply, but just because it isn't common doesn't mean it can't happen. I grabbed Iron Will because of how easy it's going to be to stay above 75% toughness. So damage reduction can only help me stay alive longer, and as long as I live, my team can live. Surprisingly enough, the last pistol benefits a lot from keep their heads down. The amount of range suppression you can do when attacking is enough to allow your team to move forward and take out any threats easily. Precision strikes will only make my life easier when it comes to taking down an enemy from close range or from afar. The weak spot damage can be a huge help in clutching a quick kill or even demolishing bosses health bars. To make sure that we'll never run low on ammo, Shock Trooper makes sure that no ammo consumption happens whenever we make a critical hit on an enemy, and with our weapon, we're going to be hitting plenty of crits. Another passive that makes everyone's life much easier to manage is Tactical Awareness. With this, we can reduce our combat ability cooldown any time that we kill an enemy specialist. Since we're going to be focusing on them often enough, this just helps us roll back Voice of Command much quicker and more often. And lastly, since I wanted to complement the shovel's potential of crowd control, I took Trench Fighter Drill for the faster attack speed. This can help us get stacks of our blessings a lot faster, and we can also continue to stun normal horde enemies with how quick our moveset with the shovel can be. For my operative modifiers, I took boost in melee and range damage along with a reload boost to complement the heavy last pistol. I also grabbed the boost in stamina and suppression along with some more toughness and damage reduction. Altogether though, this build is incredibly useful under high pressured moments. Tons of utilities to make enemies stagger, followed by unrivaled damage to keep them suppressed. I recently got this alternate operative past level 30, so this was a huge help in getting a majority of my orc runs to factor out to completions. A majority of the time, I don't have any issues fighting alone or keeping others alive, but your only real enemy are disablers and the occasional bomber or flamer since fire damage recently got an insane buff. Just remember your priority when it comes to target acquisition, and you should fare fine. Anyways, I need to run a few more orc missions to farm some more dockets and mats, but until next time, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you all return in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the match, and have a good day.
heretics remain to be slain. You must fight. Nice one. Interrogate the running! A stray to the path! The truth!
The Eldari worship many gods. All of them at war with each other. I wonder if the Great Rift pays them as a close horse. I'm just glad they don't have numbers on their side. Or we be history. Your end is The Emperor guide me. Please. Please. Voices. Yeah. 